Hi, welcome to my channel. Why I started sketching in 2011? Some may ask. My question to the question is, why not? If not now, then when? I've loved doodling and sketching when I was a child, and that continued till I started college, and it stopped. And that was 32 years ago. One of the reasons I can think of is Art supplies was not accessible at the time and I was starting completely different kind of stuff. So how difficult it is to start sketching again? Very. After 32 years, I have no idea how to start. And what I did was to Google, watch tons of YouTube channels and start copying. I was struggling with basic lines I bought my first fountain pens and started exploring sometimes in November last year. I also bought a cheap sketchbook that cost about $3 Singapore. That's how I started sketching. What I've learned from sketching for the past couple of weeks and months was I'm taking small steps and focus on learning that's more important. I made tons of mistakes. I believe in fail fast, learn fast. The worst that could happen is not trying at all. There are two main reasons that I'm picking up sketching is I want to learn urban sketching as well as watercolor painting. Let's look at my first sketchbook, shall we? So this is the first sketch that I did um, sometimes in November last year. I saw this uh, Korean artist Kim jong Yi did some wonderful line art, so I thought, why not give it a try? I started to pick up my fountain pen and start sketching, and there's so much fun. When I have no idea what to sketch, I just do it anyway with whatever I saw. Sometimes I start something, I don't necessarily finish it, and Basically, I just want to learn something from some very basic lines. So one day I discovered uh, these art channels called Peter's Draws, and I was amazed by his line works. And it's so abstract and so beautiful. I continue with the fountain pens sketch, and that's pretty much what Peter uses in his art channels. I'm also exploring simple lines and draw what sparks joy. Sometimes I just look at the comics and you know start copying from the comic books. And I like this uh, in particular. And uh, it was um, some kind of prints on the porcelain plate and uh, well, it's traditional and at the same time, it's simplified. And um, sometimes um, I'll just look at quotes and simple lines. I'm also into calligraphy, as you can tell. I bought quite a number of um, deep pens with uh, different nibs. So so that I can try it out. Different kind of inks. Well, I continue to explore the line works for about two months or so. And around February this year, close to Chinese New Year, I started picking up some additional art supplies, such as watercolor brushes, some paints, and I attempted the very first uh, watercolor painting on my sketchbook with reference to uh, the Japanese artist Kaiko Tanabe with what I had at the time. Um, basically, I had this um, watercolor pen set uh, for about 20 old years. I bought this in France when I was traveling. And it was stored away in the storage for so many years and I finally found it um, during the cleaning up. And also I had this 
three pens uh, pencil from Meloto and I'll be using it for uh, quite a number of years now for simple um, coloring and uh, it was a lot of fun as you may know we are still in the middle of pandemic and during Chinese year we didn't do much of the visitings uh, what I did was doing color swatches with the new paints that I bought and I also tried out um, calligraphy with uh, gouache and also uh, different kind of uh, nibs uh, from brows and speedball and I discovered this will actually help me uh, with the line qualities the more that I paint the better I get around the same period I also started um, exploring urban sketching with fountain pens um, using different kind of uh, inks well let's look at the second uh, sketchbook this is the sketchbook um, um, when I started uh, around early March uh, I believe it's on the 5th of March I was a little bit more focused at this time so I set myself a goal a daily go, paint something, sketch some things on a daily basis. So this is how I started my daily habits of sketching. This is also the period that I'm building up my art supplies, uh, bought some color pencils to try out. So this is my first um, live sketch at a cafe. Wow, well, it's fun i mean that was my first i bought some primary color gouache to try from spinke and mind mary i also bought some um, watercolor pencils just to add varieties uh, to my sketches well this is the beginning of the start of my daily habit I'm basically just sketching and painting random stuff from what I saw on YouTube. Well, it's fun. Well, I get to paint something, play with the pigments. Um, well, the paper is not meant for watercolor, so I did um, some light washes. And this is the beginning of the fun parts. I noticed uh, some of the sketches did by Miss Jisoo and she works very clo closely with uh, Mr. Kim Jong-Yi and also found some pictures on the Pinterest to try it out uh, watercolor portraits. I also made notes on my sketchbook for future references and some ink and wash um, sketches by Mr. Kim and this is my first gouache abstract painting and basically with lines and gouache well this is the watercolor painting based on the um, watercolor artist work Wendy Artin and this is again uh, with reference to Mr. Kim's uh, online uh, sketches. Well, I also tried up um, making use of reference photos. And obviously, um, there's a lot of experimentations. And I'm still pretty new to watercolor, so um, I am uh, basically using the Stratmore 500 hot press paper to try things out. I also started uh, pencil sketching again. Um, you, know, you probably noticed that the portraits and the human figures are primarily what I tried and that was something that uh, I find it more challenging. I also did try um, some flora painting with watercolor and 
toward the end of March, uh, I reorganized my main pallets and did um, a new swatches and reorganizing my colors and experimenting with uh, some of the uh, techniques um, shared by Paul Wang and also playing with the colors as he suggested. I think that's a brilliant idea. You probably noticed that uh, with all these practices, I sort of put things together and it, things started to look a little bit different. I'm also exploring uh, different type of pencils, graphites and things like that. So I did um, a pencil ske sketch um, uh, with reference to Mr. Kim's um, ink uh, painting. I'm also trying out different kind of stuff. This is um, another portrait uh, painting with just a fountain pens, some abstracts painting with watercolor and some character designs with pencils. This is the very first sketch and uh, this is my second sketch with ink and watercolor. So that's pretty much it for the second sketchbook and I've started um, the third sketchbook um, uh, a month later, close to a month and uh, and with the third sketchbook, uh, I'm a little bit more focused and basically drawing something, sketching something based on the books that I've read, based on the podcasts that I've listened to, some audio books. So it does involve a little bit of research, um, some googling of the some uh, of old photos as well as some imaginations i'm kind of um fascinated uh, with the idea of associating stories with visuals elements so this is my new experiment well that's the end of this video i hope you like it and find it useful in one way or the other. See you in the next video. Bye.